Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So I want to come on here and spill some tea about the whole Nene leak situation. Once again, Bryson, his baby's mother is in her feelings and she's blasting the both of them on social media. So if you guys do not know, Needy Leak's youngest son, um, Brent Leaks, he basically posted a picture on his Instagram story of a brand new house. It's a four bedroom home that Nene Leaks brought for her oldest son, okay? And so Brent titles it, he says, enjoy your new home, bro. Love you. So once he posted that, that went viral all over Instagram. And so folks were like, okay, damn, how did he get this house? Because last time we seen Brent, he was laid up on, you know, his baby mama couch, knocked out sleep, scratching his damn balls. He didn't have no job. He didn't have, he was the king of the damn living room. So how did this come about? So then, of course, people started tagging the baby's mother to see if she heard about, you know, her baby daddy's new home. And so she took to social media and she went off. <laughs> she went off, honey. She felt like, you know, at this point in time, Nene's enabling him. It's not okay. You know what I'm saying? He didn't buy his house. Why are people congratulating him? She definitely was not here for the celebration of Bryson in his new home, okay? So y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So, everybody is blowing me up. Yes, Nene bought a house in her name. For Bryson, today is his 30th birthday. 30 30. We'll see how long that lasts. That was in her name, not his. Thing is, this um, situation with this house. Everybody keeps talking about why does it matter and blah blah blah. It doesn't. I got my own. Okay. Somebody, multiple people actually tagged me in that post on the neighborhood talk which brought me into the situation, okay? So I said what I had to say. Um, of course, there's a method to this woman's madness of what she's doing. Come on now, he's, you know, 30 years old, he can't do anything, hasn't done anything for himself. What are we, why are we celebrating or proud of him getting a house from his mom? Who cares what she does with her money? That's her money. If she wanna buy a house for herself and let her son live in it, that's cool. But why are we congratulating him moving in a house that his mother bought? That's not an accomplishment for him. I can care less about what the hell she does. Um, Bryce does not take care of his children. Is it this way? Let's see. Just look for their car. Do you see the Range Rover? Nope. Um, Bryson does not take care of none of his children. Yes, he has five children. Um, people keep saying, oh, you had a kid with him and no, he was a deadbeat. That is <laughs> false accusations. Um, when I met that dude, okay, I knew about, huh? Okay, no, she already checked, checked out of that hotel room. I know she was going to another one. She ain't seen the phone, so she's going to have to drive over there herself. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to keep calling her. Um, but anyways, um... Did he say, sorry, uh, Trish. <laughs> um, but he does not take care of his children. When I first met him, I knew about Briasia. That was the only child I thought he had. I did not know he had four other kids. Well, four, three other kids. Um, hello? Didn't know he had any other kids. Um, and that's what everybody knew. Everybody knew the same thing. Everybody thought it was just free Asia. He didn't say anything of that. He had any other boys or another daughter in another state and blah, blah, blah. So I didn't find that out actually until his baby mamas hit me up on Facebook. Um, and told me about them. And at that point it was too late. I was already pregnant. But, um, I, you know, he, free Asia was taken care of. Um, there was no issues. I didn't see any problems at that point. Um, and everything was cool. Um, about three months into my pregnancy is when um, I had to leave that whole situation alone. Um, that's when I found out about the drugs. And um, we were actually live on his Facebook page um, together at my 
mom's house and one of his friends called me and you know was talking about him sweating I said yeah I always wonder why he sweats so much why does it seem like it's so far back now when I first met him none of this none of this was a, was going on you would never know any of the stuff that me and his other baby mamas know unless you know them period you guys are looking from the outside and you just know with social media and what's on tv this is real life okay you guys don't know what goes on in nini's real life <laughs> okay you don't she don't have none of her people on tv it's just her greg and you see brent here and there um bryce isn't on there anymore um but that's you know because he chose to go down the wrong path which is his decision he's a grown man but you know buying him a house to stay in because she didn't want him in his house um you know that's cool that's fine and everything um hopefully it helps him become a better person well do i agree that it will no do i think that it will I say absolutely not i think it's enabling him because now he feels like he absolutely does not have to do anything he has this nice house and does not have to do anything and she already knows he's still doing you know what he's doing he's not taking care of his children he doesn't want to be responsible he can't take care of himself and she buys a nice house for him to stay in um you know it's paid for the house is paid for but he's, his, his responsibility is to pay the utilities so um be prepared for that disconnection notice all right, so you guys just heard what she had to say. So my personal opinion, regardless if he purchased the home or Nene purchased it, at the end of the day, it was a gift to her son. And she has the right to gift her son whatever she wants to. And to me, that was a smart investment. She didn't get him a huge old house that he can't afford to maintain the utilities. She got him a small, you know, four-bedroom home, three-bathroom, something he can grow in. There's enough space for all his dang-on kids, you know what I'm saying, to come and play and run around. So I think that was a good investment that she gave him as opposed to giving him money for him to go blow or you know getting him a car that's going to depreciate you know I think her issue was this first of all this is the same girl who took a picture of that man laid up legs spread across the damn couch called him all types of names blasted him on social media looking for clout and attention so I'm sure that was a big part of the reason why Nene looked out for her son because at the end of the day that's her child okay you're not going to be blasting her child you know dragging him all over social media and basically telling the world that he's homeless and he's a bum so she was like you know what since you want to blast my child put him out there my child is going from pillar to post let me go ahead and put my child up in a home and look out for him and that's what she did and I don't blame her. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to sit there and watch their child be disrespected on social media like that, be belittled by their baby's mother? You know, at the end of the day, Bryce is not perfect. He has a lot of issues, you know, from what I've heard and from what she stated that he's on, you know, he's used drugs. Um, we all seen him, you know, he got caught shoplifting. He hasn't done all the right things, you know, throughout the years. But this might be the first step in the new year, 2020 is right around the corner, to him wanting to do bigger and better. Maybe he just needed that hand up if she can basically keep him out of homelessness and having to depend on women like his baby's mother then maybe now he can put his best foot forward okay maybe now he can start doing what he needs to do as a grown-ass man but i think her getting upset and you know going off on social media and constantly blasting them to me it just makes her look bad i really feel like the whole root of the problem is she said it out her mouth nini doesn't put anybody on the show besides the youngest boy uh, brent she doesn't have any other family members on the show and i really feel like like she thought that, you know, once she had a baby with uh, Bryce, she'd get in good with the leaks. And then, you know, she'd be offered a spot on the television show or guest appearance. And because that's not working out, it's bothering her. She can say that she doesn't need Nene's money. She doesn't need the fame. She doesn't care. But her words are saying otherwise. Why keep bringing up Nene every time you have an issue with something? Why bring up the fact that she's not allowing anybody else on television besides a select few? I don't have none of her people on TV. It's just her, Greg, and you see Brent here and there. Um, Bryce isn't on there anymore. What does that matter? That's her choice. So I definitely feel like the baby's mother is clout chasing. And kudos to Nene for looking out for her son. Hopefully, okay, he can do the right thing. 
Don't get in that big ass house, Bryce, and just sit your ass down and let the damn bills pile up, okay? And get disconnection notices. Get out, get a job, do what you have to do, be a man, take care of all your children. Don't pick and choose which ones you want to take care of because you didn't pick and choose which ones to give birth to. So take care of all your children and do right by them the same way that your mother is trying to do right by you, okay? So that's my advice to Bryce, but I think at this point in time, it's good that he's left that toxic situation and maybe now he can put his best foot forward. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Nene Leaks buying her son Bryce a home and the baby's mother being mad about it. How do you guys feel about that? Do you feel like Nene is wrong and she's enabling Bryce? Or do you feel like that's her son and she has a right to buy him a home? And then how do you feel about the baby's mother constantly being upset and constantly trying to blast Nene? Every time something happens, she takes the social media to also blast Nene as well as Bryce. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And last but not least, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.